Welcome back guys, it is Magi coming at you today with some Junior Star League action. This will be week four. We have what we got? A best of three uh, week four to kick things off, I do believe, as everything's week four. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. So, uh, so let's get into it. Boop. Who do we got first on the list here? Let's find out. Oh, let's just go to the top of the list and go here. Now, once again, I have not watched these games at all, so it'll be a very interesting game. Let's do a load up. Looks like we got to do this a fun way. I really got to get my all my uh, my stream tools back online here. Like I had a few different tools here for making this a very very streamlined setup, and now it's just all over the place. Anyway, so let's get into it. Boop. Week four map of the year is gonna be Death or Le. And in the bottom right hand corner, here we go. The red Protoss Paces. He goes by from the TG crew. He is Zikrasalt. Remind me after this game to close Discord. <laughs> Alright, but anyway. In the top left hand corner, the Terran Teal Terran Pieces. He goes by the name Shracker. Let's see if he can actually track down that win today. So let's find out what's going on today here. It looks like everything's pretty standard so far. Got the pile on the ramp. Death or LE. Now this map is a very interesting map. We have some speed zones. Now the past couple seasons there have been maps with slow zones. These are go fast zones. These are zones to speed you up. And I must say on creep. Speedlings on creep. Through that zone. Look freaking amazing just how fast they run. Gateway as well. Okay, so we got the probe scout coming out here. Gonna come over here, see if he can't be annoying with that little Terran piece. Oh, he's not gonna go for the bunker. Okay, or barracks. I should say the barracks. Just gonna get in here and poke around, probe and see what can go on. Looks like we will have a Terran relying on that Reaper scout. Okay, no gas steel. He is looking like. Oh, oh, we got a little bit of laser tag going. Got a little bit of laser tag. The immediate swap off to another SC, uh, SCV actually came over and was attacking that barracks. And he does save the SCV and the barracks will finish up in a reasonable time. Pulling out another SCV to go down to start that expansion as well as shoot off that probe. I would imagine so. Cybernetics Court on the way. Follow up. We have... The Nexus. Alright, there it is. Right on time. So if you're going to go ahead out and scout as well. Reaper is being made. Now, I love, I'm kind of curious about this the Reaper scout with an SCV scout. It, honestly, in a way, it kind of... I feel like it, it kind of is not necessary to scout with one or the other. I mean, you just sent this SCV all the way across a spot for a Nexus and then go back. I mean, you know that Nexus is going to be there at this uh, with the Reaper scout, so... I should say you know, like it's not like you know it right away. You know, it's like you know it's going to be there if you scout it with a reaper. But he is going to send that reaper up and around to that top wall. Now this is a very big wall to try and contain the reaper jumping in here. There is always space for him to get in there. I do love the uh, SimCity there to keep that reaper into a very contained spot. The stalker there to shoot it away, but that does allow him to get a full scout. He's not going to go for any probes. He's just looking to poke in and see what is going on. So I do like... Maybe that is a good idea to scout the SCV. That way you can cover both areas. But now here's the thing about that. Like, you won't know if there's anything in the back unless you get past that. So it looks like he is going to come back in here and dive back in. Now this will end up getting this Reaper killed. Oh, no! Oh, oh, and it gets out. Wow, I was about to say that Reaper should have been dead there. But it does get out. Meanwhile, on the Terran side of the map, we have some Marines and Widow Mine on the way. Looks like we might see a bit of a Widow Mine Marine drop. Also a great way to shoo off any pesky uh, stalkers or adepts. That's a Reaper coming back. I was like, what is that moving? Okay. So both players is kind of taking it easy. Going for some pretty standard openings here in TVT. Or TVP. 1-1-1. One, 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 always a good way to go. There's a few different ways you can open up in TVP. The 1-1-1 one, one, one is usually generally the safest Terran method of opening up uh, any kind of, you know, macro or aggression. Because, you know, you get all the tools you need. 
to close there on that door. He does get there. See that there are a couple with the mines. He loads up that bunker. He is ready for that adept to not show up. It's gonna go on home. Look how fast it runs. Like, look at this. Look, look how fast this thing runs, man. Just watching this thing run is like hilarious. It's like it's awesome and funny. Just look at it run. You never expect an adept to run that fast. What we got was the follow up here. Drop is on the way. Going for that widow mine drop, adding on siege tanks after we do have a tech lab being built. I wonder if he knows he's building a tech lab for a tech lab. Hmm. Alright. Reaper good. Now this is gonna be a bit of a multi prong here, a two pronged attack. This is Reaper is gonna get in here and it does make it in. But it won't get done what it's trying to do. Like, it's coming in here to try and, you know, attract the attention away from that Widow Mind drop. But losing that Reaper does kind of make this a one directional drop. So I wonder if he's going to hold off or if he's going to go for it. Alright, he's going to go for it. Now, there are no Stalkers here in the main besides the one that was going to jump up for that Reaper. And there's a big area like big flight path in here like a lot of airspace behind this base they slip in behind that third base right next to the main adept coming out here gonna get picked off on the other side of the map three racks so far gonna be that marine marauder medevac now let's see why he built the other tech lab okay getting the stem pack and that shield at the same time i love it lucy if he's gonna come over here and confirm exactly what his terran counterpart is up to Fox bait on the way. The drop coming in. He is paying attention. It, or Croissant is paying attention. He's going to pull these probes away. Oh, they are grouping up, though. He needs to move them again. Whew, okay, he does get them out of the way this time. Stalker will get picked off. She just buried them right there. She just buried them right there and left them. Because eventually that... They are going to have to come back up. You know, you might get them to look away. Dropping one wood of mine off. Another probe pull. We'll get one probe this time. Probe in a stalker, and not a whole lot done with these drops just yet. So, one thing about the widow mine drops is it's usually not the first one that gets in. You know, it's gonna be like the second or third one that gets in. If you can keep them rolling and just keep the drops coming, because that's when the big damage usually starts to get, you know, start to come online. So it looks like we will be going into either disruptors or colossi for croissant. No Ghost Academy down just yet. I've had made it have it in TVPs to start getting that Ghost Academy like as soon as I can. I know it's costly, but like the EMPs are just absolutely fantastic. My AC is not working again, guys. It's incredibly hot in this house. Like Protoss moving out on the map with a bunch of stalkers, a sentry. There is no warp prism here. It looks like he's trying to get in just before. Interesting movement, actually, on that army to go right up. I guess he's just timing when the third base should be there. Based on doing his homework, but he doesn't know about the drop from Tracker that is going to get split up. I hope we get split up into two drops. Oh, I've been amazing to drop here and then drop in the main. This should force a recall. The recall coming down with these stalkers right into that third base. Now, the recall being used in the third base. These Terra could pick up here and go into the main base. Wood of being burrowed. Blink away in the heart instantly there to keep these stalkers alive. Great micro over there from the croissant tracker pushing his advantage here, though. Pushing the stalkers back. He will get the third base here. So it's finally making their way back home. Another round of stalkers coming in here. The first Colossi, nowhere to be seen. She's giving Terran a lot of room to breathe here. Losing a few units there. Focusing down that assimilator. It might be time just to pick up and get out of here. Back up through the wood of mines. Oh, the break forward! Oh my gosh, what a huge connection with those wood of mines. And that's going to put Protoss in a bit of heat trouble here is he's gonna have to make another round of stalkers or bit and Terrence is gonna pick up and get on out of here great play there from tracker to pull him back into those widow binds I guess croissant forgot that they were actually there that was a good, that was a rough one uh, that was definitely a rough connection there here we go another round of bio and met marines and medivacs and you know the widow mines 
triple M or quadruple M. Marines, Marauders, Medis, Mines. Oh my. For Sonic getting another round of Stalkers up. Now 1-1 one, one is about to finish up for Prodice. But now Terran has been on plus one upgrades for a little bit now. This is also a big advantage in these fights. Let's see, where is, he, where is the drop? Okay. Not moving out just yet. He does have a lot here. If only he knew he has an army advantage, he could easily press his advantage here. But I'm a little bit worried because we want to one finish it up with that extended thermal lance and the Colossus on the field. This, this could definitely start to spell a little bit of doom. We do have ghosts in production though for the EMPs. Widow mines get burned. So a bit of a widow mine change that was made with the armory. I absolutely love it. They would now remain invisible after firing off their shot if you have an armory down. So in a way, it's kind of a tell to see where Terran is at in terms of their tech and upgrades. 2-2 two, two on the way here for Tracker. Going into this fight, so he does have... 2-2 uh, two, two is actually starting about the same time. So both sides are going to be on the equal upgrades that Colossus in play here. Now, is there any Storm? Storm is not done just yet. The High Templar have already been warped in. Try to get a bit of that energy built up, but with the observers here, you know, you aren't going to be able to make that happen with the Widow Mines this time around. So, Croissant stays alive for a little bit longer here. As he gets to build up that tech ball and that Protoss ball. You guys remember the VODL song, uh, OP Protoss Ball? Yeah. Great song. I wish they would do more, uh, StarCraft tracks. Especially some of the new units and stuff. I mean, I think they could make something with it. Anyway, both sides good. Step, take a step back, take a deep breath as we move into the later stages of this game. Tracker adding on a couple more factories there. Let's see, here. how many starports do we have? That's kind of what I'm concerned about right now. I think there's only one starport on the map. I don't see structured again. There it is. T. Where's that? At? Right there. So, yeah, only one starport right now. I feel another starport would help get that Viking count up. There is one on the way. Currently at two Vikings. Croissant is hanging back on his side of the map, trying to build up. There's a lot of idle. Oh, that's why. I was about to say, why is there a lot of idle probes here? But there is a drop here. Just getting a lot done. Six probes were killed in this. Can he get the forge from the high ground? That would be great to knock that plus two upgrade off. Oh, he's focusing down the army instead. I would love to see him go for that forge. You ever been a great pick? Now, plus two up weapons upgrade are great, but if you have plus one armor, I guess the terror would like plus three weapons. Ooh. Or plus two weapons in general? Oh, man. It'd just be, it's it's going to be a rough day for that Protoss. Another round of warp ends here. A lot of oversaturation there. No fourth base down just yet. I think there was another drop here somewhere too. Anyway, ground weapons and ground armor about to finish up for Protoss. And we're going to start to move into the bigger fight here. It's going to be a bit scarier for Terran because you know Colossus are on the map. Storm is done, but you do have Ghost EMPs. But these armies are going to walk right past each other. Here we go. Now, this is going to have force Terra to have to go for it or turn around. At this point, the base trade has already started for Protoss. So at this point in time, he has to turn around. No, he's going to move forward. He's actually going to go for that third base again. But I'm kind of worried about what all he can end up losing here. The base trade, Terra is behind right now in terms of base trade. Here we go. These widow mines gonna come in here. Get in here. Uh, not gonna burrow. The recall coming down here from Protoss. I don't like this at all. There's the EMP. That's exactly what I was afraid of. The EMP coming down here is gonna knock all the energy out of these tip bars. GG is gonna get called out. And that's gonna be the end of game number one. Is Tracker does track down that first win of the series. Let's get into game number two. Now we do gotta restart the game here. So. Just gonna throw this up right quick. There we go.
Got to restart the entire game to get back to where we were. I'm not sure how much background noise around this little desk fan will make on this microphone, so I'm not going to do it. Welcome back for game number two on Eternal Empire. Spawning in the bottom left-hand corner, currently down 1-0 in the series. He is the red Protoss pieces from DC Crew, Zeke Rassault. And his opponent in the top right-hand corner, currently up by one game from Gosu. He is Tracker. Let's see if he tracks down the win in this series here. Eternal Empire. Fun map. Pretty standard good map. I guess this is a too bad in terms of some of the ones that have come out over the seasons. Protoss gonna send out that probe scout. It's gonna be Pylon. And his scout for our Zay Croissant. But I think gonna be kind of standard for a while. Now is there anything? I don't think I've actually looked around this map a whole lot. What is this? Like some kind of egg pod? Like plant? That's weird. Like a fungus? Is it a fungus? It's probably a fungus. What's going on here? So that like some kind of uh, platform or warp gate? Hmm. There's really not a whole lot to see on this map. Like a lot of people like to add like a bunch of Easter eggs and stuff around on this map. There's still details and stuff like that. Let's see what's going on now. Gateway finishing up. Cybernetics course should be next. Had a little bit of laser tag going on there. Reaper on the way. We're going to see that SCV scout come down. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty standard opening on both sides once again. I'm going to go back to looking around the map. I remember some maps had like garden gnomes sitting around. Some of them had like a teddy bear in a weird place. Just gotta look, guys. You guys gotta look. A lot of people like to hide or hide these things in here. Like, look at that little guy. He's even got gender on that one. He's even got gender. This is 2019, man. You gotta be careful with that. Tracker could get again here and see that the Nexus was just thrown down. Now, gateway cyber next core. This Reaper actually gonna make it here a lot sooner this time. It wasn't quite delayed. Ooh, but hold the phone. Croissant throwing down a pylon in the bottom right-hand corner. Let's see what he does with that. So already a bit of a deviation here. Last time we had a stalker come out. This time we have an adept opening up. There's no units out here. He could have got in here. Maybe got a probe or two with that reaper. But the things the observer gets to see that players usually don't. Bunker being added on. So going to try to wall that down a little bit. What do we got? To the Robo Stargate Proxy Stargate in the bottom right hand corner of the map. Not quite in the bottom right hand corner. Eh, just a little bit off. I wonder why it was in the bottom right hand corner. Or bottom corner. Why, what, you could have moved that closer. Maybe here? I don't know. It's up to the player to decide where they'd like to build their building, sirs. And madams. Anyway. <laughs> Let's see what get built or let's see what's get built out there. I imagine it's gonna be an Oracle. Void Rays have been slowly trying to make a bit of a comeback, but I imagine it will be the Oracle. This Reaper getting in here being kind of annoying. Gets picked off there. A little bit of stutter stuff trying to throw that grenade down and get out. My concern here is if there is going to be a drop. That this Stargate is gonna get spotted. Because you know, if he sends that south okay oracle is gonna finish up the drop is still a long way off but oracle will get in here first now there is a widow mine out 
great anti-air for oracles. How many does he make? Does he start another one, or is it just gonna be that one? Here we go. Let's see how many probes this, or SCVs this gets. Hanging out to see if there's a second oracle. He's throwing down a robo behind this. Kind of an interesting decision to do so. One SCV goes down, two SCVs, three. He will get four and have to get on out of here. He's gonna head towards the main. Now oracles are pretty brittle in terms of what how much health they have. Five, six, and it keeps going, seven. So already this oracle is more to pay for itself. It'd be nice to see him get it out. There, there we go. Maybe a second oracle at this point. I don't know, you know, it's Revelation is nice for them uh, Widowbind drops. Now this Medivac will not actually end up seeing this drop and the pathway it's taking is going to end up down here somewhere. And it will head into the main, I would imagine. Nine SCVs were killed off there. Putting Tracker kind of behind, but with the Mule Hammer he can't make that up. Third base on the way for Protoss. So I'm already liking Croissant's position here, guys. He's, he got himself a little bit of a worker lead. He's working up to that third base. I just have to see how many probes this Widowmind drop actually gets, because it, you know, it's kind of hard to. If Chrysalis paying attention, you know, it's kind of hard to get anything done with him. Does he see that? I think he sees that. You must construct I think he actually saw that drop, by the way. But here we go. Is he paying attention? He is indeed paying attention. Probe's gonna have to be pulled. They do get pulled here pretty quick. One little probe's actually chasing Now, oh, what a connection there for five workers so far. Five probes have gone down. Now the stalker gets warped in. Unloading these probes or widow mines once more. He's not gonna be able to get this out at this point. These are dead in the water, folks. It's still an idle probe down here by that proxy Stargate, but uh, other than that. So you know, one thing I, I find kind of concerning about a lot of Protoss in general is you build this Stargate and build one Oracle out of it, right? And then that's it. Like, I almost feel like if you're going to do that, you should have just gone straight into the Robo at times. But, because <laughs> you're not making anything anymore it is. This is actually losing value now versus, you know, gaining any more. You killed nine SCVs with it. All right, sure, but, you know, in the long game, you know, you could definitely build a few more. Like, you could have built a couple Phoenixes. You could have used these Phoenixes in general. Like, you could just straight up have Phoenixes. I hear Phoenixes are a good unit. Probe transfer coming down to that third base. So, Croissant definitely got himself a bit of a lead here. He... Held off that drop. He only lost a total of about six probes in that drop. Terran is going to go ahead and move out with a bit of a siege tank push here. Well, maybe not. He's just going to go down and get that third base secure. Alright, so we're going to go up to a three base apiece. Let's see what we got here. What does is, what is Chris Slunk got for us? Looks like Disruptor, Colossus on the way. Now, the only problem with going disruptors here against these siege tanks is you gotta get close enough to find some good bio connections with these disruptors. Let's see what happens here. Terran looks like he's posturing to move up. Alright, so here comes Tracker. Tracker gonna go ahead and move towards that third base location here. Now, there was nothing here to kind of warn Protoss about what was going on. Did you see the starport now? Or Stargate? No, okay. He's going to move into the south here. Now, this is going to be... There's a scan to see exactly what he has. You can see these tanks up. There we go. His tanks are sieged up. That first Cheeto bomb coming out. Disrupt the strike. Going to go out and whip. Third base should end up falling here. Trying to decide if we to chase down the Protoss army with the Cheeto dust all over it or just go for uh, the base. He will go for the base. Three probes do end up falling as well. Another disruptor. 
out in play, so he is got a second dodgeball here. Ooh, almost, almost. Is he gonna get him out? Nope. Bit of an awkward uh, engagement there, there's disruptors. You kind of like stop part way, I guess you keep. You gotta remember, Croissant, you can still control the orb, man. You can still control where you want that initial explosion to go. But this is gonna put Terran in a great position here. We got another drop on the way, we got drops rallying up, drops on drops. I know the Oracle was made at some point, I missed that. Bit of long distance mining here. Trying to keep the economy rolling. Losing that third base at this point is definitely going to hurt. He's just going to rebuild it into that same location. Does Terran actually see that that was being rebuilt? No. Okay. There were some Marauders there. I thought you might have seen it. Another drop going to come in here. Where are you going? What is with this unit controller here? Like, Sorry, I do the same thing a lot. I'll try to drop and my units will just fly off into a corner somewhere. Oracle will spot these Marines moving out, so he's going to have to figure that there will be something moving out here. So Oracle going to come back in and try and get some SCVs, but there is a missile turret here to shoot this away. Finds a spot here he can actually make use of this. A lot of incredibly low SCVs. Picks off one. Terran going to move in, looking to see what happens here. Terran actually scared off those probes. No long distance mining here. Oracle's still in here trying to find some damage. There's actually no missile turret here in the main. This could get a lot of SCVs here. I'm concerned about the unit, the push here from Terran. That's what I'm really concerned about is what's going to happen here. Nine SCVs have been killed. Ten. Still climbing slowly. Terran has to start trying to find an answer here. He's falling behind the workers. He does have an army lead. There's only two Colossus or, or orbs here too. There's no Colossus out on the map yet. I'm kind of, I'm kind of concerned. That first drop or first shot will lift, and actually they are both disabled. So you can keep going here while these disruptors are disabled. They are generally the scariest part of this army. So force supposed to be great to sandbag this push, but I don't know. I think Drafter is going to just push uh, assault right off the side of the map. One good disruptor shot there, but is it going to be enough? If you use to push them back, the Immortal end up fall will fall. If he just goes into the main here, that'd be the next place to go into the main. That structure orb is not ready, but he does get picked off, getting pushed back into the siege tanks. GG going to get called out as a drop into the main, and Tracker will end up taking the series two to nothing.